Kayak lu sekarang double agent, <laughs> gue call him double agent, Regent Rondo. Yeah. Karena dia kemarin numpang oh. ke Clippers, dia numpang ke Clippers gue, terus dia habis ke Clippers gue. Yeah, Regent Rondo. Yeah. Gara-gara dia, Patrick Beverly hilang. Iya, <laughs> iya, iya. Oh my God, iya, bener yeah. And people forget, like, kan gue nonton uh, podcastnya uh, Old Man and the Three. Iya. Yeah. Waktu itu guestnya adalah uh, the guy or the high five guy. I'm just kidding. Uh, Jared Dudley. Jared Dudley. Which by the way, I miss. I miss Jared Dudley. Jared Dudley. Jared Dudley ngomong. Siapa orang paling pinter di tim? Eh sorry. Uh, 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 JJ. Was it JJ? JJ asked. JJ asked Dudley. Uh-huh. Siapa orang paling pinter di Lakers and your championship one in the bubble? Dudley ngomong. Rondo and LeBron. Of course. People forget Rondo. Is Rondo stopped my 2008 uh, Lakers? By the way, people forget yeah. that Rondo, Rondo, the Lakers lost in 2008 because Rondo was just insane. Rondo Pierce going in. Yeah. Alan, Rondo tuh saking pinternya. Only ini yang ngomong Jared Dudley. Jadi it's inside info. Yeah. Rondo and LeBron has such basketball IQ. And when they lost Rondo and Dwight last year and Javale, uh-huh. when they lost them last year, people forget. You lose your interior presence. You lose that the playoff Rondo. You lose that, and now they're back. Oh my God! Oh, bro, it's bro. And you got. Yeah, emang tinggal yeah. manage manage. Karena gue tahu yeah. Rondo keras kepala, Westbrook yeah. juga keras kepala. Nah, tinggal tinggal egonya diatur. Iya. Yeah. <laughs> Kay- kayak kayak kayaknya gampang banget. Lo nggak boleh lupa lo. Rondo itu tar Westbrook itu ribut sama saudaranya Rondo di bubble. <laughs> sama, sama omnya atau siapa gue lupa, iya. gue lupa, gue lupa. jadi ini Frank Vogel punya PR sih lumayan sih karena ya. Carmelo pun gue bingung nih Carmelo ntar role-nya betul. kayak apa nih sama betul. Lakers gitu loh betul tapi because I saw his transition in Portland last year uh-huh. gue merasa Carmelo eh, dia ngerti dia, 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 dia ngerti kalau man Carmelo wants to win a ring come yeah. on you win the cup Carmelo needs a ring If Carmelo needs to get a ring, I'm happy like, too. If he gets a ring, yeah, I'm happy. I'm completely yeah. happy because his his closest chance to win a ring was back in 2009, lost against Kobe's uh, Lakers in 2009 yeah. Western Conference. Yeah, then go. Yeah, I was rooting said. for the Nuggets, <laughs> and Trevor yeah. Ariza, Trevor Ariza and makes a oh, steal. Ariza is back. And Ariza he is. is like, yeah, so I'm a. Bro. Emang Lakers sih timnya agak bangsat sih. Timnya anjing yeah. banget, timnya kuat banget. Kalau oh, pikir-pikir bangsat. Emang hmm. PR-nya satu, Frank Vogel needs to handle all the personality and ego. Tapi menurut gua, LeBron can do what? LeBron, underrated part of LeBron. Underrated. Hmm. Dia tahu cara kontrol ego-ego orang. Well, Itu we'll so underrated. LeBron can control all your ego. Menurut gua, menurut gua. Ini... Andovi percaya lah nih, kalau Lakers ya. itu bisa mengontrol ego ya. Ya. Dan jujur, gue cuma takut sama satu tim doang in West. Satu. Siapa tuh? Doang. The Golden Fucking State Warriors. Uh, karena, <laughs> karena, 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 Clay Thompson is back. Ya, yeah, Clay Thompson. Dude, people forget how much of a beast Clay and Curry was. Gue takut, man. Jujur, if Clay is Any bit the previous Clay and Curry is MVP. People forget last year Curry was playing godlike. People forget last year, last season Curry was MVP level. Yeah. If if MVP level Curry and MVP Clay and Draymond. Oh my oh, God, my lights. <laughs> no problem, no problem. That, yeah, basically if if. Sorry. Yeah, basically okay. if, if, if they go back, it's over, man. If, if, apa? What was I gonna, what was I gonna say? I forgot. I, forgot I hope Clay. I hope Clay is like Clay. at least 85 percent like yeah. the old Clay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Old Clay. Because I know I know it is hard though to go through like two big injuries. You know. Two big injuries. Yeah. Yeah. But they said they paint the devil after winning a championship. No. <laughs> so they say. That's what they say. <laughs> but. <laughs> But sekarang di NBA ada dua boleh bilang dua lah ya, super team lah ya, Lakers and the Brooklyn Nets. Banyak tim, kajo, kajo, tim kajo. Kan itu kita we gonna get to that. But yeah. by orang yang kayak by fans NBA ah gua malas nonton nih. Dua udah ada dua hmm. super team bisa langsung ke final yeah. aja lah mereka. Kalau lu gimana? Do you like super teams or you don't like super teams? Gini. 
menurut gua super team or not super team gua sampai pribadi akan tonton whether super team atau enggak mm-hmm. tapi people always kan just narrative super yeah. team enggak enak Nar- narasinya itu kan yeah. bro the nba had their best years people forget the nba had their best years when the super teams were on top ah whether it's golden state whether it's the heat whether it's the spurs the lakers you name it like the jo- bulls jordan's bulls man When, when, when the Warriors were going 73 and 9, nobody was complaining. Yeah. Nobody was complaining. Karena it's an art by itself. Tapi gue ngerti. Tapi people forget super team dari mana. Last year terbukti Phoenix sama Yanis, Phoenix sama Bucks yang, yang, yang rise on top. So, yes. this narasi kalau ini super team, menurut gue, it's, it's fair. The criticism is fair. Tapi it's unwarranted. Menurut gue, yeah. NBA bakal tetap sama-sama serunya kok. Sama-sama nonton kok. Tahun yeah. lalu, Tahun lalu seru, tahun-tahun Golden State seru, tahun-tahun Heat seru, tahun-tahun seru, selalu seru kok, selalu kok. Gue malah suka nge- apa? Gue suka banget belain tim underdog lagi lawan super tim sih gue. Iya, yeah, dan itu kan juga sebuah narasi kalau super tim. Yeah. Underdog, ayo underdog, ayo underdog. Iya. Yeah, yeah. Enak kan? Itu makanya menurut gue, oh, menurut gue oke, okay. menurut gue it's no, nothing wrong. So no now, problem. now we gonna move to Kajo. So Kajo now is a Brooklyn yeah. Nets fan. Ya, yeah. dia tuh James Harden fan. Kemanapun James Harden pergi, <laughs> walaupun Harden pergi, selalu dia ikutin yang kebuka Harden di Brooklyn. Gua nggak kebayang sih kontar finalnya beneran Lakers lawan Nets sih. I don't know how you guys gonna watch that game. That's gonna be crazy. Bro, bro it's gonna be, it's gonna be fucking. Look, if COVID and everything is all, all good, Lakers, I'm going to the, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to the US, Staples Center, uh, uh, Barclays Center. Why to buka? Oh, my yeah, that's God. crazy sih. I am crazy. Bro, I mean, are you kidding me? New, uh, uh, Brooklyn, New York, Lakers. Oh my, my God! Itu gila sih rivalrynya. Dan lo kalau lihat sekarang timnya Brooklyn Nets ya ada, you probably like the best scorers in the NBA. Yeah. Ada Kyrie, best. James Harden, ada KD. KD. Do you think automatically apakah mereka akan lolos ke NBA final if they are healthy? Ya. Yeah. Gini, sorry. I love Giannis and Bucks. I love them. Giannis and the reason was the re- reason why I won so much money in last year's NBA Finals because I bet on them so big and they won. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you, Giannis. Thank you, Bucks. Tapi, first of all, mereka menang di semifinal karena KD missed 0,0 no no, no, kakinya so segini doang. If KD made that three, it's over. Yeah, that it was over. Forget. People forget. Harden was not playing 100%. People forget. Harden juga nggak 100%, Kyrie juga udah nggak main injured. Man, mm-hmm. again, if everything is healthy, if everyone is healthy, it's gonna be Lakers and Nets. If everybody, that's a big if. That's a big if. Tapi kalau nggak, Giannis might go back to the finals. Wow. Kalau nggak healthy, ya. Yeah. But Eastern Conference is gonna be really, really good. Karena ini baik banget, oh, big three, yeah. baik banget big, big three di NBA. Like even the Bulls. Do That's you right. like the Bulls now? The Bulls. Oh, I love it. I love it. Lonzo, uh, Levine, sama yeah. lagi. Lonzo, Levine, and... Demar. Um, Demar DeRozan. Demar. Demar. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Jadi menurut gue, the Bulls are a good team. Siapa lagi ya yang, yang bakal team yang... Hawks. People forget Hawks are always... Always a fucking, always a fucking force. Boston. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Boston gonna be good. Charlotte. Yeah. Charlotte, rookie, rookie year. I mean, sophomore year for uh, LaMelo. Lamello. And the Pistons with Cade. You know? Cade Cunningham. Pistons. Jadi kayak the East is very interesting this year. Yeah, very the, interesting this year. The East will be interesting. So now kita langsung langsung aja lah. Anda official pilih dulu kita. Kalau lu prediksi MVP next season, I'm gonna give a hot take. Okay. Bagi, bagi orang bagi orang orang yang ngerti hot take itu apa. Okay. <laughs> Gua akan ngomong sekarang. Hot take. Hot take itu take yang orang orang kayak upanas. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to say it now. Okay? Gua percaya next season is going to be until uh, uh, with um, two people. Two people are going to fight for the spot. In the West is going to be Curry. Wow. Curry is going to have a Curry is missing the playoffs. People yeah. guys, kalian lupa how well he played last year. Kalian lupa. And that's without Thompson. Dengan yeah. Thompson, the load off of Curry Oke, okay, poinnya akan terbagi. Oke, okay, poinnya akan terbagi. Tapi Curry bakal jauh lebih bebas, kan? Kalau Curry nggak bebas, kayak gitu. And in the East, 
Giannis is on a on a force. Wow, Giannis yeah. is the MVP lagi dong. Yeah, menurut gua it's Giannis or Curry. Wow, I'm so far leaning hot take, hot take to Giannis ante the kumpo. Menurut gua Giannis, menurut gua Giannis has something to prove. Now that he won and the and the monkey is off his shoulder. Right, Munugudu, I, I want to prove to everybody that I'm the best. I am the best player in the world. Wow. Munugudu, Yani, will, will come in with that mentality. Wow. Munugudu. What well, about what well, about um, Luka Doncic? Jadi gini, there's a reason why I didn't I didn't say Doncic, KD. But apa gini? Yeah. Nobody in the Lakers and nobody in the Brooklyn yeah. bakal menang MVP. Karena bakal kebagi. So, I don't think kebagi. so too. Right. Now Doncic. Why I didn't say Doncic? I saw him in the Olympic. Saw him in the Olympic. Emang, it's very Doncic central, right? Yeah. Doncic needs another star because I don't think Chris Stapps, I, th- I don't think Porzingis and him are a good yeah. team. I don't think. I really don't think so. Jadi, unless he gets a good co-star, baru menurut gua Doncic. Karena gini, Dallas kalau mau apapun, they're always seven seed, six seed, fifth seed, right? The last person who won MVP six seed was Russell Westbrook. Six seed, tapi itu pun karena dia triple double 30, mm-hmm. 10, 10. You need to have such a statistical anomaly untuk menang MVP, God. And Doncic won't get like Russell Westbrook numbers back in the day. Okay. Maybe that's why I didn't say Doncic. Okay. My hot takes: Damian Lillard gonna be MVP. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. That's my hot okay, take. Okay. Karena dia kayak, take, yeah, kayak dia akan ada pembuktian tahun ini uh, yeah. setelah yeah. first round exit terus. Jadi kayaknya dia mungkin yeah. akan ngamuk. Dan banyak rumor bilang dia akan pindah dari Portland. Yeah, you never know. Maybe this guy gonna go crazy. Nah, mungkin, mungkin abis nikah juga dia udah makin yeah. tenang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makin, makin dia. You're yeah. right. Who knows? A lot Who of narrative. Narrative baik tentang dia sih. Okay. Yeah. Uh, rookie of the year. Do you have a prediction? Because rookie of the year, I think it's gonna be interesting between Kate Cunningham, yeah, but, Jalen Green. Menurut gua, menurut gua Kate Cunningham, karena literally wow. Detroit is giving him. Siapa? Yang di, yang di Detroit siapa? Yeah. Yang bakal, tidak. Tidak ada. Kayak Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant. Ah ya, yeah, okay, Jeremy Grant. Tapi menurut gua Kate Cunningham or dan gua suka banget namanya The Motor Kid. Kan Detroit kan Motor City kan. Nama dia Kate Motor Kid pas yeah. banget. Menurut gua ini pas. Menurut gua pas banget. Karena menurut gua rookie of the year itu bukan soal of course soal skill. <laughs> tapi soal of course tapi soal lebih ke siapa yang dikasih main. Oke. Okay. Ya enggak sih? Betul. Ya enggak siapa yang dikasih dikasih waktu. Dan menurut gua Kate bakal dikasih aja waktu. Ya, yeah, biasanya yang dapat opportunity lebih banyak akan ini sih. But, akan menang rookie of the year. Ya, yeah, gue sih sebenarnya pengennya Jalen Sucks from the Orlando Magic. Oh ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Oh Jalen Sucks. Oh you're right. Oh yeah. my god. And because yeah. he hit that shot, right? He hit that shot yeah. in the in the NCAA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I love him. I love him so much. So I think I love his game so much. But I'm not sure how much, how many minutes he's gonna get because uh, yeah. Cole Anthony, Cole Anthony Cole is still Anthony. there. Yeah. Still there. And Markel, yeah, yeah. Markel is still Markel. there too. Jadi dia harus bagi sama tiga orang nih waktunya tapi Betul. sedangkan um, Kane enggak ada Kane enggak ada, ada waktu dia langsung dikasih yeah. penuh. Case Killian Hayes sucks too. Right right right. right. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Kane oh, kena yeah, yeah. yeah. Kane sih front runner sih and then the second one of course Jalen Green lah. Oh, lu kan waktu itu Summer League lu di satu di Vegas. Yeah, kan? I was there. Which of the rookies did you meet again? Cuz I saw all your posts. Gua Jalen sucks yeah. yang gua ketemu. Jalen sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's But there guys anybody follow Rocky on Instagram I'm sure anybody who's watching trash talk already yeah. follows him but dia itu kunci gua untuk lihat orang Indonesia lagi sama siapa aja <laughs> I pas di summer league gua kayak anjing eh, gua banget. gua mau bikin gua mau bikin rekor tapi gua enggak tahu apakah rekor dia yang peduli atau enggak gua pengen bikin rekor gua paling banyak selfie yang pemain basket sih di Indonesia itu dia, <laughs> dia. bro lu pasti menang lu pasti menang <laughs> itu adalah kalau lu kalau ngalu Helmi Yaya zaman dulu. Iya, <laughs> karena gua gua Helmi Yaya zaman dulu. And of course Om Helmi gua masih working on this man. I'm working on getting him on my show too. Gua udah oh, WhatsApp. Iya, 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 iya. Gua udah WhatsApp dia beberapa kali cuma dia sama dia sibuk banget sih. Right right right, right of course. Cuz gua enggak tahu if you know not dulu di SCTV itu tahun 96 97 tuh mereka call live di pinggir lapangan loh. Oh wow. Yeah. So, I know, um, I know Omhelmi was very big, but I didn't watch yeah. basketball through SCTV and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Gila itu gila banget. Cuma gua Indonesia udah nggak bisa gitu lagi, man. <laughs> yeah, nggak bisa lagi. Nggak bisa anymore. Okay, gila banget. Not, no way. Uh, so before I let you go, yeah. let me hear you top five Lakers of all time. Versi Anovi. 
Oh, oh, oh. No, players. players. Ya, yeah, versi Ando Vida yeah. Lopez. Oke, okay, guys. Ini, guys, number one udah pasti. Kobe Bryant. Udah pasti. Udah, 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 yeah. Not even on the big. Okay. Nah, the big-nya itu 2 sampai 5 nih. Oke. Okay. Okay. Lu ngomong Laker kan? Lu bukan ngomong yeah. player. Lu ngomong Laker. Nah, kalau dalam kategori Laker, abis Kobe harus Magic Johnson. Oke, okay, cool. Harus. Good pick. Kenapa? Oke. Okay. Kenapa gue gak taruh Kareem sebelum Magic? Karena Kareem did play with the Bucks before he played with the yeah. Lakers. Jadi gue ngomong fully career ya. Karena Magic played all his life with the Lakers. Kobe played with all his life. Jadi tau, Kobe, Magic. Nah, 3, 4, 5 susah nih. Right? <laughs> 345 is a toss up between Kareem, Shaq, and Wilt. Wow. I don't even remember Wilt play for the Lakers. Yeah, people people forget. Wilt won his championship two two times in the Lakers. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of this Jerry West, the logo himself. Okay. Like, I don't yeah. Shit! Stress is really tough. Stress is really tough. And then there's Gasol. Oh my God. Oh. Ini, ini pertanyaan kesukaan netizen Indonesia soal. Jadi gue harus tanyain. Oke. Okay. Kobe, Magic, played all his life, 20 years. Magic, 16 years. Magic! Magic! Okay. Kobe, Magic. Because of my personal reason. Because I grew up watching him. Shaq. Okay. So, okay. Because... Kobe and Shaq, unstoppable, the yeah. most dominant one-two punch of all time. I would have to say Kareem. Number four. Of course. And listen, and then number five, I have to give it to the logo himself. Jerry, Jerry West. Wow. He's the NBA logo. The NBA logo. Jadi Lebron, aku pilih nih Lebron. Lebron, sorry. Karena, karena lu ngomong Laker. Karena lu ngomong Laker. Kalau lu ngomong top five players who played for the Lakers, nah, uh, nah, itu, itu bakal aku masukin Lebron. Iya, yeah, itu different, different category. Jadi ya itu, um, Kobe, oh. Kobe, uh, Magic, uh, Shaq, Kareem, Jerry West. Oke, okay. I think that's enough of basketball. We okay. <laughs> ngobrol sama Andovi, karena kita ngobrol, gue ada bisa berjam jam. Iya, yeah, gue bisa berjam jam, gak berhenti berhenti nih. Apalagi ntar udah ada podcastnya, gue, gue udah siap banget dengerin uh, podcastnya but, Andovi then, nih. And then you come ya, yeah. you come ya. Yeah. Of, yeah. of course, of course, of course. Let's do this, let's do this. More than happy to do that, man. More than happy right, to do right, that. Right, right. And gue akan membuka buka question box ya, buka question box di Instagram okay, gue. Right. So, I'm just gonna ask you a couple. Yang pertama right. adalah Andovi, seberapa susahnya jadi vegan dan apakah masih vegan sekarang? Uh, di awal-awal tentu susah. Dan iya, gue masih bikin sekarang. I've been a vegan for five years. Five yeah. years and going strong. Di awal-awal sangat-sangat, ya. Yeah, tapi with everything, it's a, there's an adjustment period. Mm -hmm. Lu nggak adjusting. Dan sekarang, apa gue juga di Bali sekarang ya. Bali tuh vegan, most, most vegan friendly places in the world. Sangat-sangat gampang. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yang penting, mamba mentality. Guys, mamba. It's mamba. <laughs> Dalam aspek hidup, apapun yang hidup, mau kerja, mau istirahat, mamba mentality. Yeah, it's that's Japanese. true though. Eh, of course, tadi lu ngomongin lu tinggal di Bali. Wah, uh, ada juga yang nanya, kenapa sih Bang Andovi sekarang tinggalnya di Bali? Bro, gimana ya? Uh, gua merasa, hmm. secara pribadi, gua butuh time off untuk rest my mental yeah. health, my physical health. Bali is the perfect place to do. Kayak, guys, gua tuh bisa bangun pagi, jalan 30 menit atau lari 15 menit, nyampe pantai, hidup, breathe in the air. Kayak, It, that's something so you can't put money on that. Do you understand? You don't have to live in an expensive villa. You don't have to. You can literally walk, pakai baju kayak gini, jalan, relax. It, man. Apalagi after, with COVID and the pandemic and everything. Yeah. Kalau lu nggak sehat secara fisik dan secara mental, hidup tuh nggak ada gunanya, man. Jujur, you can be as rich as you want. Yeah. You can be as successful as you want. But if you don't take care of what's in here and take care of your body, it's pointless. Dan menurut gua, Bali is the perfect way to do it. I'm not saying you can't do it in Jakarta, in Jogja, in Surabaya. I'm not saying that. Tapi menurut gua, Bali is the perfect place to do it. Yeah, man. I'm coming there too soon. <laughs> yeah, come, come, come. Yeah. And, and gua seneng banget tadi lu bahas tentang mental health, ya. Uh, yeah. Ini gua agak off topic sedikit sih, tapi gua pengen... No, 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 of course. Come on. Gua, gua juga orangnya suka raise concern about mental health, dan ini menurut gua gak terlalu di race di Indonesia. Lu setuju gak yeah. sih? Sangat tujuh, karena apa-apa komen telat, ah paling lu kurang bersyukur, yeah. ah paling lu kayak gini, apakah gua tahu gua ada di posisi di mana banyak sekali orang Indonesia yang jauh lebih punya masalah ekonomi, nggak bisa, mm. I get that. 
I understand their problems are way more serious than mine. Gua tidak mendiskreditasikan mereka yeah. yang punya masalah. Tapi bukan berarti gua nggak punya bisa mental health. Yes. Lu ngerti enggak? Banyak orang ngomong kayak, "Oh, lu mental health, lu enggak mikirin orang lain." Bukan. Gua nggak pernah bilang masalah orang lain enggak penting. Iya. Yeah. Tapi man, it's it's real. That it's real. shit's real. I don't under, I don't understand how people don't understand. Okay? And I hope for those who are going more lu kaya, more lu miskin, yeah. more lu tengah, whatever your, your your economic social status, mental health is real. I try mental whatever mental things you got in your brain is real and do whatever you want to do to 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 help it to 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 create to 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 heal. Right? Dan gua berharap orang Indonesia jauh lebih enggak malu untuk yeah. untuk mendapatkan masalah ini untuk mengcure masalah ini. Because everyone has their own battle, you know. Betul. You know, so Betul. gua pun juga honestly gua di YouTube uh, uh, in the YouTube world gua juga ada like I'm fighting my own right. demons gitu loh. Gua kayak ada nih kayak kadang-kadang gua ngerasa kayak gua oh shit gua tertekan juga nih kayak when there's a news I have to talk about. It. Gua kadang suka tertekan kayak gitu juga sih, but right. Right. You know, but I have to fight through it gitu. But right. sama right. orang enggak ngerti yeah. gitu. Sama orang enggak ngerti karena mungkin memang edukasinya uh, tentang mental health di Indonesia masih kurang banget sih. But gue pengen right. sih sekali-sekali kayak raise the awareness kayak semua tuh punya, right. you know, their own battle and mental health is serious gitu loh. The, serious, uh, very serious. Ya, yeah. dan gue kadang-kadang suka sedih kalau di di Indonesia itu kadang-kadang orang kalau kita ngomongin tentang mental health mereka kayak kayak kadang-kadang take ya, apa sih lu? Ya apa sih lu gitu ya kayak kayak gitu sih. Jadi hopefully one day kita bisa do something about that sih of course, about mental of course, health. Of course. And yeah. yeah. That's it for tonight, I guess. <laughs> kita ngomongin tentang mental health terakhir. Because in the NBA juga, lu tau lah ya. Kayak DeMar DeRozan goes through it. Uh, Kevin Love. Kevin Love. Kevin Paul Love, George. Yeah. Even Paul George. Paul George went through it juga di bubble. Yeah. So, I just want to raise awareness saya sih. Kalau mental health is really real. And semoga people yeah. ke depannya lebih bisa... Apa ya? Bisa lebih peduli lah. Dengan hal-hal tersebut yeah, sih di Indonesia. Betul. So. so true. So fucking true. Yeah. So, Andovi once again. Thank you so much, man, for stopping by. Sorry, Terima man. kasih banyak, dude, dude, good. We can talk for hours, and I would love to. Every time, every time we talk about basketball, it's it's selalu selalu bahagia. Dan gue cuma berharap, gini, gue cuma gue gue pesan satu pesan ya. I really hope the Indonesian basketball scene, ya, yeah. mau lu suka timnas, mau lu suka NBA, mau lu suka Japan Japanese league, mau lu suka Philippine Chinese, whatever you want to see. Let's stop putting people in 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 in, in boxes. Right. For me, if you love basketball, you love basketball. Yeah. At the end of the day, kita bisa lebih suka tim yang mau lu suka Lakers, mau lu suka Bucks, mau I don't give a shit. As long as kita persatukan sama basket dan yeah. di olahraga ini, menurut gua itu lebih penting. And I really hope Indonesians can and can can for, can go go past ini. Basketball Indonesia enggak akan maju kalau kita banyak kita di, di kota-kotakan dan kita politik A, sana A B C D. Let's screw up fuck all this shit. Let's just, let's just focus on one thing. Right? Dan gue benar-benar berharap di generasi kita ya, mungkin pas gue 40, 50, lu juga seumuran, gue berharap ada orang Indonesia main di NBA. Amin. Itu harapan gue. Amin. Amin. Menurut gue itu sangat-sangat bisa kalau kita dan pemerintahan kita dan uh, uh, pihak-pihak swasta dan whatever lah, whatever you, semua stakeholder dan shareholder start being so fucking egoistic and just do it. Like, 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 pasti kok. Talenta kita ada kok. Tinggal dimasukin ke sistem. Right, lu ingin kalau ada orang Indonesia dari kecil main di sistem yang di Amerika punya atau Eropa punya, bisa banget, kayak bisa, kayak. Ah, Karena kita ada satu harapan sih, ada satu harapan kita, namanya Derek Michael. Ya yeah, uh, Derek Michael, ya. Yeah, 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 dia ada di NBA Academy sekarang ini di Australia, which is yeah, good, udah yeah, good step udah, banget. Udah, oh good banget, banget. Yeah, Derek udah, Michael, listen, Derek Michael is giving hope to other young Indonesians yes. as well. Man, please, Derek Michael, semangat terus, bro. Semangat yeah. terus, man. And hopefully, gue cuma bisa kasih dia moral support aja sih every day. Kayak gue bilang, yeah. ya lo take it day by day lah. Pokoknya gitu loh. And learn something new every day. You know? There you go. Uh, gue cuma bisa kasih itu. That's... <laughs> ya, gue bisa cuma segitu loh. Cuma bisa kasih semangat nah, dong. Derek Michael, tapi... kalau, kalau lo di draft di NBA, uh. gue orang pertama, gue sama Rocky bakal front front court seats. Yes, of course. Gue orang yang gila, pasti. Of course. Gue, gue langsung beli jersey-nya juga. Tenang aja. Pasti. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, gue sih benar-benar berdoa banget sih kalau si Derek Michael ini bisa progresnya bagus karena ini 
opportunity yang dia dapatkan nggak semua anak Indonesia bisa dapat nih latihan bisa di Australia. Bisa masuk NBA Academy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gue uh, hopefully he will take full advantage of it and I believe that dia akan ke Amerika sih tahun depan untuk main NCAA sih. That's why. Amen. I Amen. Yes. Amen. But, but like you said, ngomongin tentang ego. Uh, yeah. Itu itu panjang sih gue bisa omongin tapi yang pasti <laughs> gue cuma bisa berdoa aja sih. I can only pray for the best man in Indonesian right. basketball because I'm not I'm not really involved in it. Ada ada dan gue kayak cari talent talent muda doang. Iya yeah, iya. Yeah. But gue sih berharap banget sih memang gue juga sempat komen di Instagramnya uh, Kajo tentang ngomongin revolusi. Iya. Yeah, <laughs> revolusi entertainment. Iya iya iya. Ya gue juga tulis soalnya. I think we need this in Indonesian basketball too. Of course. <laughs> yeah, so. Of course. Go, kita bisa ngomong podcast lain soal ngomongin. Bisa. Bisa oh, banget. Man. Yes. Uh, yeah. Of course, the talent, like you said, the talent is there. Kita punya there. berapa ratus juta masyarakat uh, orang di Indonesia. Yeah. Of course, we can find like two or three that yang really, really bisa. jago banget sih. So, bisa. Yeah. Gua, gua percaya sih uh, Indonesia akan punya pemain NBA in 15 years. Amin. Amin. Gue percaya Amin. banget. Gue percaya banget. Ya, gue uh, percaya. Uh, karena memang teknologi, sports science, semuanya udah maju banget. Uh, ya. So I believe that Indonesia udah mulai bisa catch up. Udah mulai bisa catch up sekarang ini. Jadi, I believe, yeah, 15 years. I think that's a good t- uh, amount of time that. That's a good timeline. That's yeah, a good timeline. Good timeline lah untuk bisa masuk ke NBA, pemain NBA, uh, pemain Indonesia. But once again, Andovi, thank you so much, man. Terima kasih banyak, Pak Dila. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Gue tau lu udah pensiun dari Youtube, tapi untungnya masih mau aku diajakin collab. <laughs> aman, aman. Eh, eh. Walaupun gue gak ada sebagai skinny Indonesian 24, gue udah ada lagi. Tapi kalau teman-teman gue mau, mau collab whatever yeah. the, on your channel, go for it. Really appreciate you, man. And once no again, gue udah gak sabar ngeliat tar lu gimana reaksinya tiap kali ada Lakers game <laughs> di yeah. Instagram. Gue akan nungguin terus. Yeah. But once again, yeah. guys, jangan lupa untuk selalu support juga Andovi kalau yang mungkin ada mau nanya tentang jadi vegan atau apa oh, gitu. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. And we always love Skinny Indonesia 24 too. Terima kasih banyak. We banyak. miss Thank you so guys, much. man. We miss you guys you. on YouTube. Apa yeah, rap, yeah. rap battle, rap battle is like one of my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite segment di situ. Thank you, thank you, so, thank you. yeah, and then gue sebenarnya juga senang sih dengerin lo ngobrol sama Kemal, you know, ngomongin NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We miss yeah, that good too. Times, good times. Yeah, good times sih. Yeah. And bumping to you guys in a random NBA game sometimes. Yeah, NBA yeah, yeah. Time. And so, so uh, I'm gonna go to Seattle one day, right? Yeah. And we're gonna go to Bali and we're gonna chill together. Yeah. Okay, pasti, of course, pasti. pasti. So guys, once again, thank you so much for everybody that udah dengerin kita <laughs> ngebaca yeah, tentang betul, NBA. Ngebaca <laughs> yeah. tentang NBA more like probably like 40 minutes, I guess. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, love I, lo- it. I love it too. So hopefully you guys enjoy today's uh, podcast, uh, like mini podcast with uh, Andovi. Yeah. Uh, this interview trash talk so thank you so much again for watching don't forget to like and don't forget to comment and share your hot takes share your hot takes yeah. in the comment section we gotta wait for that and yeah we'll see you guys again on the next video peace out